what's going on with y'all boys, man? I'm finna bring another episode of Inside My Mind, and I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't even know what episode we're on, but I'll figure it out when it comes to typing in the title. Uh, this episode is me versus Combat Killer, or just Combat, in the Freak Show 2v2. And this is the first tournament where customs were allowed, so we're rocking customs, of course. And let's get into it. A little insight. I think right before this match, I beat Ninja Killer his fujin and then i beat his lu in the mirror and then before that said i beat sonic and some Eej, so i was riding a wave of momentum heading into playing combat and combat still almost shut me down but um yeah i decided to go for the harder matchup because i was feeling good with lu um i don't really like johnny cage versus lu but I, I think i play it very well so thing is combat also plays it very well so um, but I was feeling good with Lou, damage buff going, command grab going, that's pretty busted. Um, just, like I said, just be Sonic, Samish, and Ninja kill up all back to back. So playing combat, I was like, you know, let's try to get the, the quadruple, you feel me? I knew it wasn't going to be easy considering combat's, uh, very sweaty and one of the best probably at the moment. That's this point in time. Yeah, combat was sweating right here. He's uh, he's playing very solid. He's playing the matchup pretty much how you should be. In this matchup, I kind of just wanted to press the issue because I know that zoning battle is something I don't want with Johnny because his force balls are faster than mine so I would try to you know come in but it's kind of scary just coming in and on Johnny because he has all these good buttons to try to keep you out and kind of clip you for trying to do what you want but yeah like right there got a little overzealous I low key think he got robbed right there yeah, so combat got robbed right there. Well, not robbed. Um, this tournament was right before the af the ultimate patch, and pissed off became an an armor breaker in ultimate. So right here, I would have died this round. Like right here, that would have armor broke me today. But since this was like a day before ultimate came out, I guess it wasn't an armor breaker at this time. I did not know that. It's kind of crazy how I like actually should have died. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I punched the interactable with flying kick. It wasn't a random flying kick. It was a punish. Interactables are mad punishable. At this point, yep. I, I hit ninja with, oh, not ninja. I hit combat with a stagger. He tried to react, but got clipped. So that ended up opening him up, getting KB'd. I had fatal blows, so it's dangerous. But I dropped the combo, but I hit him with the classic drop combo grab. That always works. Everybody always grabs after they drop the combo. And I honestly don't know what was going through my mind when I ducked that, but I think I ducked the first one in accident, so I ended up just ducking the second one on reaction. And that wasn't even a punish that forward four. He just didn't block. Yeah, I don't know how I even made that comeback. Uh, at this point, I have a nice little health lead, and in my mind, I'm just trying not to, like, blow the health lead, because by the time he gets me to around 50% health, he can kill me. Like, even if he gets me to, like, 45%. Yep, now he has fail blow. Now I could really, like, die next touch. He's probably just going to try to... Yeah, so right there, I tried... To, I, I micro-ducked his grab, and I tried to stand one, but I got down one, so I was kind of salty about that. But he ended up getting hit by the stagger into the 4-4 anyway, so it wasn't really a big deal. So yeah, I shouldn't have even won that first game, but I ended up clutching it out, which gives me a little comfortable, you know what I'm saying, up 1-0. That's what I want in this matchup, because the matchup is kind of annoying. So the fact that I'm up 1-0 makes me feel very confident in taking the set, because I just need two more. He just he needs three, you know. I tried not to play too much in a rush. As you can saw, I got that little whip punish. I was kind of scouting that. But I'm trying not to play too much in a rush because, you know, some people lose when they, they feel like they're winning, they're up, and then they get they get too anxious, play too much in a rush, and they just blow the lead. 
I punish by combat, yeah. bro. That's good damage. damage. That is 24. One, two. The trade, hold on. That armor break that they added to Johnny was so good for him. Fireball. Since they took away his plus six. But wait, I've seen too many rods. Oh. This neutral is making me. I've seen too many rods. So at this point, I'm kind of, I kind of want to just dwindle his health a little bit down to like 40% health so that I can kill him with Fatal Blow, but I don't know if this ended up happening like that. Like, see, he has 43. I could really kill him. Like, 41. If I touch him, he's dead. Yeah, I think I'm chipped. Yeah. By the time I get to, like, 30% health, at that point, I'm really just trying to rob with Fatal Blow, to be honest, most of the time. Combat pack up next, Dan. We're going to see, man. This is going to be a big one right here. You Combat take this pack with no, uh, no characters? Hold on. I like playing players like Combat, Ninja, Sonic, all them guys, even Samij, because they really push me to, like, make uncomfortable reads that I have to make if I want to win, you know? A lot of people aren't willing to make those uh, uncomfortable reads, but they be the reads that you got to make, man. Otherwise, you're just going to be good, but you're not going to be one of the best if you're not willing to take big risks, and that's almost in anything. I had this Muhammad Ali person in front of me that says, he who is not courageous enough to take risks will accomplish nothing in life, and that is facts. If you ain't willing to take no risks, you ain't winning. Some of these risks will look dumb if you're if they're wrong, but if you're right, man, you can pull off these W's like this. Oh yeah, that did a lot. Yeah, right there, I tried to hold up just because I was like, yeah, I'm gonna die anyway. But to be honest, I had one defensive bar, I was gonna get chipped. So scores one one, and I'm just like, damn. I was really trying to go up two zero, so that if I lose, I'm not tripping. But now I'm one. Now it's 1-1. One, one. Now I'm like, all right, boys, we're back. Basically, didn't even. And I really feel comfortable when I'm up to a. Uh, thank goodness this is. By the way, guys, this is Grand Finals. Um, Since I beat Ninja, it's just me and Combat left. And Gerd lost early, so I had to beat both Ninja and Combat by myself because Gerd didn't manage to take out either one of them. Um, but yeah, this is Grand Finals, and this tournament is single elimination, so it's not like there's a loser's or winner's bracket or anything. Yeah, it's an easy 40 piece. Yeah, I don't know why the fuck I did that, but I probably just assumed he was going to get hit. Yeah, this round wasn't looking too good, boys. I'm really surprised Kama didn't duck that grab, but it was probably he probably just didn't want to risk getting counter hated for making a read. Wow. Yeah, I just tried to light the bicycle kick. Now I got damage, but this grab does 15%. Grabbing with buff on is very good because um, people are. Liu Kang does so much damage. When he uh, has the buff on, so people don't want to get hit. So that's when you grab him. So the mind game right here was right. I, I assumed that he was too far to meet me, right? So I just woke up stand one because I was like, he has to cover distance. He has to dash up. And by the time he does that, my button's going to be there before his is. Which it was. This is to be on set point right here in rounds. I mean, it matches. This is OD. This is OD. This is OD. Yeah, he's getting hit by these fireballs. But unfortunately, I got clipped by some, uh, which forced me to break. Now I have like, absolutely no bar. And then he, that anti air drop was kind of crucial because now that's damage I could have had, but now I don't have it. Now, Comet has me in the corner, which is where Johnny wants Lou because Lou damn near can't do very much. I put buff on so that I, my fireballs could do more damage as well as my touches if I get one. My entire missed. Ooh, I fucking neutral duck that shit. Yeah, that was a good neutral duck. Now we're basically even. Sad thing is, now he's getting fatal blow. Yeah, back three, four, fatal cancels so plus. Yeah, that's gonna do 16. Yep, 16 percent. 
Oh my god, you got shamed. Ooh, I got shamed. He said I didn't spend the bar like that. Like if I had bar. I didn't even have bar. He actually would have died if I did fireball right there. Now I'm done down one, two, and I'm just like, well, I've had this amazing run. If I can make it two, two, I'm feeling confident. But if I can't, I don't know, man. Down one. At this point, I was like, I have to turn up. I have to play different. Like I have to play. I have to come in this game in a different mindset and a different game plan than I did the other games. And in, in this game, I was thinking I gotta grab more. Like I was definitely like, I gotta grab more. He really woke up two straight times. I, I throw him backwards right there because for one, I get throw loop anyway, and then for two, if he took forward, I would have got skate filled. As you can see, yeah, I'm throwing a lot more. Through another time. That's around 30 plus percent that I got there from just throwing at the end. So I, I caught on to his uh, blocking patterns in the past games. I was like, he's blocking a little too much right now, so I'm going to just throw him a little more. And he's too scared to, to read it because I do so much damage. And yeah, I don't know if you guys know, I got a skate failed on that throw at the end of the last round. And I flaws blocked his, his up three. I think he wakes up again. I don't know. though. No. Nah. Ooh, I'm surprised I didn't crush him below. I got shimmied. Right now, I'm trying not to throw my health lead, but it's getting kind of hard because Johnny has a bunch of auto shimmies. He has a lot of good tools. And then I read his, uh, I micro ducked his, um, stand one after the, here, right here, I'll pause. I micro, after he defeated will cancel stand one, I micro ducked his stand one and then one two him, ducked it, then punished. That way, if he grabbed me, I would have did the same thing to his grab. And then I, right there, I almost choked because right there, I actually tried to EX the command grab because I had two bars, as you can see, but it didn't come out because the command grab is so fast. I, I really almost choked this. And I just matched right here. Yep, just matched twice. Fuck that. So right here it's 2-2 two, two, and I was like, okay, I kind of cooked that last game. I'm feeling really good going into this last game. I don't think he thought I was going to even bring this, this, this uh, to 2-2 two, two after being up 2-1 for him. So he probably, I was thinking, I was feeling really good. Because especially since he didn't get around. I don't think Johnny wins this matchup though by that much. I think it's like 5.5. Uh, 4.5 in Johnny's favor though. It's not like a true 6-4, like the Luke player can win if they're the better player and they make the better reads, but Johnny has to not play so... I have to play very, very good. But you're not going to be a good Luke main like, like me or Ninja in this matchup if you're not like a... A pristine Johnny main, or even even if you are, you got to be pristine in this matchup. But yeah, I got cooked that round, and I was like, "Fuck!" Like now he's one round away from winning. Bro, I did all this work, beat Ninja Sonic, and then uh, and then uh, Samij, and then all that to possibly think about this guy's only first gets any kind of money from this. So if I lose this, I get nothing. Like after beating all those sweats, nothing. So I had to win. That crushing blow really helped me right there because it gave me a fat health lead. And now at this point, I could just kind of keep it safe. Neutral duck them. I know you're salty about that. I have neutral duck that. Yeah, that was a ridiculous neutral duck. Yeah, I was making read after read after read. These are some like the reads I was making though weren't weren't really like gonna kill me if I was wrong. The most Johnny can do. There is down for you if he if he reads you're in a micro duck. Ooh, that entire was that was so uh fortunate for me and unfortunate for him. Yeah, I just whipped that string and then did it again. I don't, I knew he would probably wouldn't expect it. And I really got shimmy, and that did 11%. That's actually pretty bad, taking that 11%, because 
Now we're both pretty much, if we both get Fatal Blow, we're both pretty much about to kill each other. Like, whoever gets the touch. Yeah, now I got the touch. So right here, I basically um, was dashing forward because I was like, I want to kill him. I got buff on and everything. If I touch him, he's dead. And I reacted to him. Once I started moving up, I reacted to him doing his, he dashed forward. Once he saw me, he, me dash, he dashed forward. So once I saw that, I was just swung because I was like, my buttons are probably going to clip him before his clip mine. So like right here, I was like, dash, 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 saw him dash. Then he threw out my string and he got it. It's confirmed. seen in a tournament in my life oh my God. that was the greatest run i have ever seen in my life as you can see your boy was a little happy about that w just because i had to beat four sweats and this was like after not competing for months like i was not touching competition term like i wasn't trying to play in anything at all but yeah that's about it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed me dissecting me versus combat it was a highly requested set because a lot of people have been wanting to see that matchup uh dissected and for anybody who didn't even know he played here we go i we we played in tournament i won and um but yeah that doesn't mean combat can't scout me next time we play man it's just the, it's the name of the game um anybody could be anybody so stay woke and be careful so Yep, that was episode I don't even know. I'll figure it out when uh, I'm typing out the title, guys. But, yeah, appreciate y'all. Be smooth.